Over the past decade, Pepe the Frog has become one of the most popular characters in the history of the internet, with it having thousands of different variations of itself. But recently, some accused the little green frog of being a symbol of white supremacy and anti-Semitism. But many wonder if these claims are justified in any way. Before we get into good old Pepe and the controversy surrounding him, I feel it's necessary to talk a little bit about the history of anti-Semitism. The persecution of people with Jewish heritage goes back many, many centuries in a whole slew of countries. For today's purposes though, let's just focus on the most infamous example, Nazi Germany. While the Jewish population suffered a tremendous amount of persecution during the Crusades, what many will point to as one of the biggest atrocities in world history happened during Hitler's reign. When he rose to power, things became very bad for the Jewish community, when the leader took anti-Semitism to an extreme. So why exactly did Nazis hate the Jews? Well, it really comes down to pinning the blame on a group for why the country was in such terrible shape at the time. After losing World War I, the Germans were expected to pay back reparations for what they had done. Add on a bad economy, and the country was in really bad shape. Because of this, people started making accusations of Jewish war profiteers that made money off of World War I rather than helping their country win. On top of this, many Jewish-run businesses were still doing well for themselves during the economic downturn, so all it took was someone like Hitler to come in and tell the people that this group was responsible for many of their problems. This led to anti-Semitism being taught in the schools, Jewish citizens being targeted in hate crimes, moving them into ghettos, and finally, concentration camps. So you may ask how this all ties into a cartoon frog. Well, we'll get to that in a bit. Around 2006, Pepe was brought into the world through the Boys Club comic. As its description reads, the comics revolve around teenage monsters Andy, Brett, Landwolf, and Pepe. We join these four best friends in their day-to-day -day lives together as they play Nintendo, eat pizza, and have occasional psychedelic metamorphosis. In 2008, a picture of Pepe with him saying, Feels good, man, started to circulate around 4chan. At first, he was only known for this one expression, and it would take another year for someone to create the alternative, feels bad man version. From there, this frog began to spread further and further. Different variations of Pepe began to pop up with a plethora of different facial expressions and costumes. If you needed an image to represent any thought or feeling you had, there was probably a Pepe that can come pretty close to describing it. Just like many other things popularized on 4chan, this green frog eventually spread to the rest of the internet, including people like Katy Perry tweeting a Pepe. The mainstream use was not pleasing to many on 4chan who felt the attention would ruin the character. This is where rare Pepes come into play. In mockery of the now mainstream status of Pepe, many started to hoard underused ones that aren't seen very often. Next, people started making tiers to rank the uncommonness of the Pepes. This eventually led to people selling and buying their collections on websites like eBay. You could still go on and buy some for yourself if you want. This led to Pepe the Frog becoming possibly the most recognizable figure on the internet with millions using his likeness. But soon, the poor frog's reputation would change when accusations began to surface about him. In the United States, the trend has been that the younger generation is voting more liberal than in the past. This has led many to believe that the Republican Party may be in trouble if they can't gain new supporters. But recently, a brand new group of young conservatives has been popping up on the internet that have been called the alt-right. Born in an era of political correctness being pushed on them in schools across the country, many in the alt-right in retaliation have been posting purposely offensive things on sites like 4chan to get people riled up. On top of this, they're often supporting Donald Trump for president, and to show their support, they make plenty of Trump pepes. Things became interesting though when Trump posted a Pepe on his Twitter account, and so did his son on Instagram. This just fueled the fire even more, with Pepe's being spread around in pro-Trump propaganda across the web. But this has led to some problems. Since anyone is allowed to make and share their pictures online, more offensive Pepe's start to be produced which angered many. Some start to go as far to say that Pepe is now racist because of the inappropriate ones. But this idea of Pepe the Frog being a white supremacist didn't really catch on until Hillary Clinton's team pushed the agenda. On her website, there is a page titled, Donald Trump, Pepe the Frog, and White Supremacists. That cartoon frog is more sinister than you might realize. It goes on to say, why is there a frog standing directly behind Trump? That's Pepe, he's a symbol associated with white supremacy. 
Wait, really? White supremacy? That's right. While many online thought this was the most outrageous thing they've ever heard, CNN was taking it much more seriously, with a decent amount of discussion being pointed to the subject. Well, he put this image on his Instagram account. It's a meme of Pepe. And for those of you who don't know, Pepe is a white nationalist symbol. David Duke, the former KKK leader, also tweeted a similar meme, but photoshopped his face into the image. But, but you get the drift here. This is why Democrats say what Hillary Clinton said is fair. On top of this, the Anti-Defamation League, an organization that fights against discrimination of Jewish people, have listed the frog in their hate symbol database. While they admit that most uses of Pepe are non-bigoted, there have been many who have taken it over for racist uses. This has led many people to wonder if Pepe is really now a white supremacist symbol and anti-Semitic since all these people are saying so. The thing many of these people are missing about all this anti-Semitic content is that it's probably for the most part not even being posted by people that hate Jews. This may not make sense at first, but you must realize that the internet has many users whose main goal is to post messed up stuff to shock others and amuse themselves. Over the years, many have discovered that there seem to be two things that offended people more than anything else. Jokes about 9-11 and the Holocaust. At this point, there's probably a new generation of teenagers that want to stir up havoc by posting anti-Jewish propaganda online without even knowing anything about anti-Semitism. Because that's not the point. Many find it bizarre that a popular internet character like Pepe, who's been around for years, can all of a sudden become a white supremacist symbol because a 70-year-old woman running for president said so. While many are now jumping onto the bandwagon, others online see just how ridiculous this entire thing is. With the logic that because white supremacists use Pepe it must be a white supremacist character, you can also accuse any cartoon of being bigoted. If you google Spongebob Nazi you'll find bigoted images. Does that mean Spongebob is now anti-Semitic? Regardless of the validity of their arguments, every time a notable figure or organization calls out something like Pepe the Frog it just fuels the flames. They've given the trolls exactly what they wanted. A reaction. Now we can only expect more of these purposely offensive images to be spread around. Because the posters know they're now reaching some of the most powerful people in the world. So Pepe, welcome to my internet hall of fame. Whether that's a good or bad thing is completely up to you.